Hey guys, this is Ian from Repair Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a tech USB drive. So first you're going to want to navigate to your tech portal account and go to the downloads page. There you'll find this download tech suite creator link. Go ahead and click that and once it's done downloading you'll have this tech suite setup.exe file. If you run that as administrator you'll see this application pop up that helps you create a tech USB drive. There are two options on the first page here, the first being download TechWaru to USB drive. This is an option that we made available to you so that you could have both applications on one drive. This will automatically download and authenticate TechWaru for you and put it onto the USB drive. That way you can bring it around to your clients and you can have a bootable operating system in TechUSB and a Windows application in TechWaru. The second option allows you to add custom ISOs to the TechUSB boot menu. So if you have a Hirens boot CD or an Ultimate boot CD or Gparted or Clonezilla or anything like that, you can easily add it to the boot menu and carry it with you as well. The next page enables you to select the USB drive that you want to put TechUSB on. Please note that this will wipe the USB drive, so if you have any sensitive data on there that you want to take off first, please do so. The next thing that it will do is download the files for you and then burn everything to the USB drive. This typically, the first time, takes about 10 or 15 minutes, so you may want to step out and have a cup of coffee. Okay, so I've skipped ahead to show you what it looks like when it finishes. As you can see, TechUSB setup is finished. I'm going to go ahead and click exit and then show you what's on the USB drive. Here you can see all the files that are located on the USB drive, one of which is TechWaru. So now you can take this USB drive, stick it into all of the computers that come into your shop, and run TechUSB on it for your hardware diagnostic and malware removal processes. Then, assuming everything is okay, you can boot into Windows, and using the same USB drive, run TechWaru to complete the rest of your computer repair process. I hope this video was helpful. Let us know if you have any questions.